Foxy Gamers, welcome back to Subnautica. Now I don't want I don't know what happened between this game and my last game, but I think I lost my save or something, so I tried to recreate things that we did last time, like making the alien containment taller and everything, but I couldn't do it exactly. Fortunately we just did a lot of exploring and found out that our wrecks weren't there anymore, so I didn't miss a whole lot. So today, I wanted to create our modification station so that we can make some cool things to upgrade. Let's see. However, I don't see it. Ah, there we go. Okay, hopefully I have room in here. It doesn't take up too much space, so that's a plus. I'll stick it over here since I have trouble running this way anyway. I won't care too much if I block off this side of the room. Alright, let's check it out! We can make all these awesome upgrades. Thermoblade or a hardened blade. Caution. Mild now, from what I understand, the thermoblade is useful for obviously cutting through things and potentially attacking other fish, but it doesn't last as long as the survival knife, whereas the hardened blade is basically just a heavier duty version of the survival knife. Since I have so much diamond and a bunch of survival knives at zero durability, I think I want to give that a shot and see if my created hardened blade will actually be at 100% durability or if it will be at 0% durability, in which case I will lose my diamond, but I'm not too concerned about that. I also want to do this high capacity tank. The Plasteel tank is a lighter weight tank that won't slow you down as much when you're swimming as the regular one, but that's about it. Whereas the high capacity tank will still slow you down, but it has twice as much air capacity without taking up more inventory space, so that's what I want to do for there. And then also the Ultra Glide fins, which will make us swim 15% faster than the regular fins do. You can also make the Swim Charge fins, and it will do just as it says. It will actually charge up the wireless tool that you're equipping, but Sea Glide, it doesn't charge fast enough. So, I think that's a little bit more of a convenience, uh, convenience thing that I'm not too worried about. I don't mind carrying extra batteries, especially now that we have storage compartments on our Seamoth. So, we will need... Wait. It doesn't count? Okay, I'd have to unequip them to use them. Alright, so we need silicone rubber and diamond and lithium. I guess we should drink something too. There. Stabilizing. I can't remember if we have enough stuff for silicone rubber or not. Oh. Oh yeah, we have plenty of silicone rubber. What? Uh, did it say two? I don't remember. We'll just grab two anyway. Two of those. And titanium. Also can't remember how much titanium, but that's okay. One of these guys, and a piece of diamond. Let's see how it goes. Alright, fingers crossed that this works. Let's find out. Yay! 100%! Sweet! That's awesome. Okay, well... I think last time I got a survival knife down to 0% durability, it actually disappeared, which I think is how it's supposed to, but I'll keep using this one until it disappears to see, or until it gets down to zero to see if it'll disappear or not. All right, so we want to unequip our fins, except maybe, oh yeah, we do have enough inventory space. Ultra Glide fins, woohoo! There's that for us, and now our... Oh, you know what? <gasps> we can make both of our oxygen tanks high capacity. Yes! Ooh, yes! I like that idea very much. 
Wait, does that actually take up more space? No, 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 no. Okay. Alright. We'll put you back there. And grab a couple more titanium. Awesome! This way we can hang out outside of our sea moth for a really long time without having to go back in all the time. Dun -dun -dun. Yay! Wow! That's almost three minutes of oxygen and then some because we have a rebreather so we can stay down there for a long time now. Okay, I think... Actually, let's see what it takes for the pressure compensator. Plasteel ingot, aluminum oxide crystal, and a computer chip. And the plasteel ingot takes titanium ingot and lithium. Ooh, I think we're running a little bit low on titanium at the moment. Let's have a quick look five there and five there yeah okay so I will have to go out and make a run for some titanium before I can build that but let me drop off some of these things here and yeah I'll just stick that in there for now okay got our fully charged battery power cell don't need that glass and I can drop off this other survival knife, too. Okay. Habitat builder. Looks like we are ready to go do some exploring. And we do have our power cell put in the storage of our sea moth. And actually, I might go ahead and drop the other one off in there, too. Since we don't need to replace those super awesome. Whereas the batteries... I will keep in my inventory because I have to change them out with the sea glide a lot. And, ooh, you know what? We should go ahead and repair because, yeah, we're at 78%. I kind of ran, ran into some rocks a little bit. Whoops, I didn't actually want to jump in, but hey, that's okay. Ah, what's going on? Okay. Oh, shoot, you know what? I almost forgot that because... <laughs> The game didn't save for me. I don't have these beacons on my Seamoth like Welcome I was planning on. So let me go run make those real quick and I will see you in a second. Okay guys, I am planning on trying to check out some more large wrecks. But considering the way things went in our last game, I'm not entirely sure they're going to be there. So we're going to go back to the mushroom forest that we were at so long ago to see if we can find anything there. Okay, welcome back, guys. It appears that this wreck at the mushroom forest is still here. I uh, it is nighttime. I don't know what kind of creatures are lurking in this area, but I don't think reapers like to hang out in the mushroom forest. Caution. Dehydration so detected. I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope that we're okay here. I'm gonna give a quick run around. There's some jelly rays, no big deal. That's cool. Ooh bunch of eggs. I think those are- oh, are those even eggs? I don't know. Let's check it out, shall we? Purple pine cone? What? Ah, salt deposit. What a disappointment. Boo. Oh, looks like we should eat some things. There we go. What's this? Can I get you? No, you're just a pretty thing to look at. Okay. Ooh, okay. Yeah, let's check out tree mushroom. I wonder if we can use that for anything. A fungal sample. Hmm. Perhaps we can grow them to look cool in our base. I don't know if there's any purpose outside of that, but hey, we should get some lithium, because I know we're gonna 
be using that stuff soon. Okay, okay. I know. I came here to check out this wreck. But I got excited by all the shiny things down here. Ooh, another creature egg. Yay! I love hatching things in my alien containment. Okay. Where's my sea moth? I should- Oh! Hey! Right here! Cool! I'm gonna drop this stuff off in here, and we'll pick up our welder and laser cutter, just in case we, uh, need to get through some doors. Actually, I'm gonna grab some oxygen first. Welcome aboard, Captain. See, that's a bad thing, is now I have so much oxygen that I'm probably going to forget about breathing and then find myself in a bind. Also, we should probably check out to find an opening first before we do this. I think maybe there's a way in right here. Okay. No big deal. Wow, our energy is going down so fast. I suppose it's all the oxygen that we're using. All right, away we go. I'm not gonna use my sea glide because actually maybe I am because I don't have a flashlight. It's gonna say it moves too fast for us in here. But hey, scannable stuff. Power transmitter fragment. Cool. I don't know what that's for, but I'll take it. And the chair. So we should make an office someday in our base. Perhaps in our second base we'll do that. Da -da -da -da. Any of this stuff scannable? Ooh. Yay! Uh, check this out in here first. Hmm. Well, there's another way out. That's good. Locked! Boo! No me gusta. I think we already have this guy. Yeah, titanium. That's alright. We're running a little low on titanium. We could use some extra. Is this a way out for sure? I can't really tell. We're okay for a bit. Let's cut open this door here. I hope there's no, uh bleeders in here. I think it might be too deep for them. We should be okay. Woo! Hmm. Anything cool? Wow. I love being able to cut open the doors and discover all this other stuff that's super awesome. Hmm. I'm not finding anything scannable, but you know what? Yep. Of oxygen remaining. I want to be super cautious this time around because I did not like <laughs> having to come back and. F oh shit! Can I? Okay, phew. Emergency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Where's my sea moth? Oh god. Oh no! Ah! Come on! Come on! No, no, no! Come on! Phew! Oh, boy! Oh, I'm sorry, me! <laughs> hey, but look! There's a fragment! Hooray! Man, I like cutting it close, guys. I don't know why, but it, it sure felt like that 30 seconds went faster than it normally does with a rebreather. I'd have to look it up, but maybe with Double oxygen tanks, your rebreather doesn't work for all of it? I don't know. Have to find out. Please let me know if you do know. It's also just quite possible that I was in there for a lot longer than I thought I was. Ah, oh, come on, give us something we don't already have, please? Hmm. Okay, well. Let's, ooh, can we squeeze in here? Maybe. Anything? Nope, nothing cool. How about the store? Nope. 
Oh, hey, here's a PDA. Aurora scanner room voice log. Cool, we'll have to check that out. Hmm. Is this the way we came in? I can't remember. Yes, it is, okay. Ah, what's this? Ooh, Cyclops hole! Yay! That's what we wanted! Yes! We completely unlocked the Cyclops now! That is fantastic! That is exactly what I was hoping for by coming out here. Okay. Well, no need to risk it out here. Might as well go back out since I think that's probably all we're going to find for the time being. Ah, thank you. I'll have a little snack while we're out here. There we go. Use the last of my nutrition bar. I wish we could find a recipe to make more of those, but I'm not actually sure that's even anything you can make. I think it's only something you can find on the Aurora and other life pods. Okay. Well, even though there's not really much left here for me to find, I'm going to mark this spot just in case something changes or I just want to come back and check out this location again. So I will grab a beacon to leave here and hope that this wreck doesn't disappear this time. Hey, look, another fragment, but I bet you I already have it. Yep. Okay. There we go. Did that, did that work? Yes, Mushroom Forest Wreck. All right. We will take a quick glance around down on the floor and see if there's anything of interest that we want to pick up. Ah, what? What? Oh, just those things? Okay, I'm not too terribly scared of those. All right, doesn't seem to be much of interest down there, but I see this ravine here that I want to check out real quick. I think it's just an extension of the Blood Reef, but if I find a bunch of quartz, I might pick that up. Another thing I noticed since the last time I played is the game is incredibly choppy, like more so than it was last time. So if, if that's annoying, please let me know, and I may either put off recording until they fix the choppiness, or else I will just reduce my graphics and hope for the best. Alright, well, that looks like that's all we need right now to get our Cyclops, so I think the next plan is to head back to our base and start making everything we need. So, thanks a lot for joining me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please feel free to like the video if you did enjoy it, and subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, stay foxy, everyone.